Okay, welcome back. T-Rex Arms is a player. The T-Rex Arms AC1 plate carrier is a shot across the bow of much of the industry. Take notice. Corey Jerkalani's post on Instagram got me thinking today. Check out his channel on YouTube called Hammerheart Outdoors and subscribe. He posted, a company with great customer service and the means to keep products in stock just came out with a slick plate carrier. What are all the Gucci gear companies with bad customer service and are always sold out going to do? It's a great question. I have purchased T-Rex Arms products and have been very impressed. Most recently I purchased their new T-Rex Arms rifle sling. Previously I put together a video titled The PS9 Dagger and Why Palmetto State Armory is Taking Over the World. In it I detail the reasons for the meteoric rise of Palmetto State Armory. Similar to PSA, I feel that T-Rex Arms has earned a closer look. Every so often, visionaries come along. Bit players that no one really notices until one day, and it's too late. Especially for their competition. August 29th, 1997 was the beginning of such a saga. You probably never heard of Mark Randolph or Reed Hastings, but they were the founders of a little company you may have a passing knowledge of called Netflix. At last count in July 2020, Netflix had 193 million worldwide customers and were on pace to break 200 million by the end of 2020. Here's another name you might not recognize, John Antiaco. In 2000, he was a big player, the CEO of one of the most lucrative and recognizable franchises on the planet, Blockbuster Video. Mark Randolph decided he was ready to cash out of the small niche streaming business he had co-founded and he took an offer to John Antiaco of $15 million for the whole thing. Antiaco dubbed Netflix, and I quote, a very small niche business, turned the offer down and the rest is history. Many such stories permeate our landscape, myriads I am sure today being chronicled for future generations to both recognize and recount. Many narratives. I remember when I first heard of T-Rex Arms, even now my kids can't say the name without laughing, it's such a punny play on words. They were manufacturing Kydex holsters, similar to so many at the time. It seemed that everyone and their mother had started a holster business and many of the products were relatively indistinguishable in terms from one another. Gradually the Botkin brothers built a YouTube channel and continually expanded their offerings, setting themselves apart from the competition. Most notably, the married appendix in the waistband holster and mag carrier called the sidecar holster. I think that, above anything else, got them on the map. Additionally, orders were processed with impressive efficiency while customer satisfaction and communication was meticulously attended to. With insider terms like Molly, IWB, OWB, drop leg, three o'clock, claw, ELS, QLS, just the process of purchasing a holster can be a daunting, uh, something daunting to negotiate for someone new to shooting or not in the know. While some seem to flaunt this hard-won firearm insider knowledge like a badge of honor, T-Rex Arms goes out of their way to win new initiates by posting clickable links on their site in their item descriptions that assume nothing and explain literally everything. Why is this? I believe it goes deeper than just marketing. T-Rex Arms unapologetically, like Palmetto State Armory, caters to the moral, law-abiding, Second Amendment-bearing American citizen, not the special ops warrior or elite lawman. An option is given at the conclusion of every purchase to receive a 5% off discount, acceding to the following statements, and I quote, I believe I have a moral duty to defend life where legally and morally permissible. I train regularly and am prepared to risk my life in defense of others. I carry whenever possible in order to fully discharge this duty. Lucas Botkin in particular is a shooter, putting up to 100,000 rounds downrange per year, and I have even heard 200,000 potentially? Not 100% sure on that. I don't remember where I heard that or read that. And he rigorously tests all the gear they produce. 
So while I'm excited about this new AC1 plate carrier offering by T-Rex Arms, I know it's but a drop in the bucket of what is to come from T-Rex Arms. Like Netflix in 2000, this is a shot across the bow of many comfortable industry companies that ride the fence when it comes to the Second Amendment and politics around gun control. Sadly, if it were economically feasible, some would sell all of their equipment to the quote-unquote professional warrior and cut the average American out of the loop, night vision being the latest example that comes to mind. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the AC1 plate carrier release as well as T-Rex arms. Thanks for joining me on the journey. LW Road, out.